Gael, though. Cabin for KN. Win-win. Robocat. Rosé. Robocat man, thank you for the raid. I hope the game's well this morning. How you doing? Hello, everybody from Robocat stream. Good morning. I'm still waking up, y'all. You surprised me there. Good morning. Good morning to you, Robocat. Shift over. Go to sleep now. Relax. Very nice on the Rook 7, man. We have played through Rook 9. We, we climbing through it. Key control, man. What's up? Good morning. Hello. How's it going, man? Ooh. Woke me up now. Can't pass on a two-star God of War. Y'all know me too well. Hardcores, what is up, man? Good afternoon. The Hardcores, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, hello. The God of War being two-star, he's going to be strong enough to kill these units anyway, so you don't have to worry about not starring up. Garfit, good evening. Are you working a good day, Garfit? And how are you doing? What is going on? So that's the, I'm waking up right now. Waking up. Can we beat it? We good. Look at this absolute unit. All right, here we go. Now we'll clean up these two. Should have gone stereo, maybe. Thought we'd be okay with going the uh, the one there. We go. That's all we needed right now. That's all we needed. No big deal here. No big deal. Nothing to see, people. Nothing to see. It's gonna be the warrior synergy start here first. At least we got a two-star. Which unit isn't strong enough to start round two? A Gersus Ranger can be sketchy. Source is actually okay. And um, Frost Knight's okay to start. But a Gersus Ranger is really the weakest one. Nice Garfit. Take it easy and relax and enjoy the, the day off. I had, um, I think it was Unicorn, an Agursus Ranger, and a Frost Knight. A one-star of each. Lost round three with all three in. I think it's the only time I've lost round three with having three units in. Even two unicorns are good, but a Gersus Ranger is honestly kind of weak like that. So we definitely go Woda. You know what we didn't do yesterday at all? Whoa, holy moly. Key control. Resubbing for four months. Give me some rosés for Key, man. It's not nine warriors she died. Crotix, hello. How are you doing, Crotix? Happy Sunday. Key, man, thank you so much for four months. I love you, Key. Thank you for all the support. Best stream titles in all of AC here. This, that's, that's the stream title of Havoc's uh, having slept in. And it's like I ain't got time to find anything good here, so y'all have to insert it. Thank you, Key, though, man. Thank you so much for four months. You know, Garfit, B, Momentum, thank y'all for dropping some rosés down for Key. And she died. It's not nine warriors at all. I'm thinking about Divinity Woda. We didn't play it at all yesterday. Didn't play it at all. Can you believe it? What is this world we live in? We got no mana, but I, I, we can make do here. We can make do. I, I've done the same type of title. It, it works, though, right? It works. It works. It definitely works. Thank you, Robo, for the rosés as well. I was saying, too, um, on the in-game semifinals yesterday, we went four straight firsts. And clinched up the finals. Uh, did you put up that video? Uh, I was finishing getting the YouTube intro fixed up, Crotex. I should be able to get it up after stream today, though. That's why. Uh, that's why I slept in. Had a, did the the late night stream, the Sekiro stream. I still had a game left to do on the in-game semifinal before it ran out last night. So then I had to do that game, and then we were working on stuff for the new YouTube intro. But I should be able to get up today for the the walkthrough on insectoids two star axe man we, we rock and rolling we're just using the warriors the spirits right now for the early game keep it how it is we got pair of wotas too man two star god of war two star axe what kind of spot are we in lobby wise looks a little bit of uncontested divinity wota to me <laughs> How did you do on the championship? I got four first places yesterday. First, 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 first. I'm in fourth in NA right now. Fourth in North America. 
it basically with those four first there's nothing that can happen to get me not going into the finals but the higher you place the more donuts you get in the semifinals as well so we want to be as high as possible right now in uh in america it is 80 20 aka slick and then i think it is nova schmanic and myself is where it's sitting right now i i play much better normally off stream protex because i'm sitting here when i'm when i'm streaming i'm i'm talking with y'all half the time i'm not paying attention to what i'm even doing in game it's just me going through the motions what is your strategy for it yesterday i just spammed beast witcher it was free it was so free the last game listen i was against divinity cave shaman in the last game um not uh non numix non numix am i saying that right non numix thank you so much for the follow let me get some rosés for non numix welcome non numix to the family if you ever got questions, if you need anything, or you ever want to talk, never be afraid to let us know. Otherwise, if you lurk, lurk away in the new mix. I hope you're having a great Saturday. Thank you so much, and welcome once again. Welcome, welcome. B and Robo, thank y'all for dropping some rosés. So the last game, Crotex, I had pretty bad items. I only had a teleport dagger for my Witcher. I did get him three-star, but everything else was tanky items. We got no attack speed, anything like that, right? And uh, all we need is a Priestess for four Divinity right now, which is good. But... I was against Cave Divinity Shaman, right? With Water Spirit, Hexing. The good news was, though, I had so little damage. My Fallen Witcher wasn't getting hexed. I was running a three-star Whisper Seer, and the trees were killing off Shamans with the other units before the Witcher was. So it actually saved me and let me win that game. Tell Crow to stop spamming me with Feathered. I cannot. Uh, feathered is uh, Feathered is Crow's, is Crow's jam, Robo. So, yeah, it's... um. Honestly, it's a it's a theory B&B I talked about using six, uh, th uh, three star whisper seer for the shamans because there's no way as beast witcher to really counter the cave shaman build because uh, you're just gonna you only have the one carry really you can have venomancer in there but normally they'll still both get hexed both of the carries it is to use uh, trees as the summons and it, it worked out very well without a doubt out of doubt oh my gosh uh, Rob uh, Rob. Rob, hello, Rob. Hello, how are you doing? Good morning or afternoon. Hello, Rob. We want to get this uh, sword in right now. Y'all are wild today. Thank you so much. I'm just econ right now, too. We're a little bit. Rob, hello. Good morning. How is the string? Give me some rosés down for Rob. And let me get let me get caught up on here, too, Rob. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, sorry for this. No, 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 Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there's, 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 no, there's no limit to, to come into this party, man. Welcome, Rob. How are you doing? I will definitely enjoy. I hope you ha have had a, a good stream. I hope you had a good day today. 2D, hello, hello, 2D. Good evening. How are you doing? Morning for us, but evening for 2D. And uh, Crotex, I lost with the same build. Uh, last guy, do me really strong Witcher. Uh, last guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The strong Witcher will definitely do it, Crotex. Beast Witcher is still very strong. Hi, I'm new to the game. Any advice? Nanumix, I'll say. It's hard. Uh, how new are you, Nanumix? How long have you have you played any other auto battlers? And about how long have you played auto chess for? Let me ask you that. Before we say anything else, how uh, how familiar with auto battlers are you? And how new are you? How new are you to uh, to auto chess? This is the first game. Gotcha. So uh, there, there's the Discord right there, Nanumix, if you want to join, that uh, B put down. There's a lot of good information in there. There's cheat sheets for all the items, so you can look at the items without having to sit here in-game trying to go through the item list while you're playing or spectating. There's also, in the tips and tricks, a lot of bills that are put down there. But I'll say, Nanumix, the, the, this, is, this is your first auto-battler. Uh, econ is important, having money. Just play. You'll get experience and just get better that way. Uh, just watch, try to learn as much as possible. But when you're first starting out, it's really going to be just kind of getting experience. Don't be afraid to try something that goes wrong. Learn from it. Tweak it a little bit. And that uh, the, the information right there in our community, very, very helpful to get you off the ground and get you going. And QTQ, hola, mi hermano. Hola, como esta? Rob, give me, thank you. Give me some rosés down for Rob. I'm trying to catch up. Oh, yeah, no, uh, Nanumic, no problem. Uh, thank you. I hope, welcome to Auto Chess. I hope you en enjoy it. You have fun with us. Uh, Rob, thank you for the for the raid. And also, welcome. Thank you for the follow, Rob. If you ever need anything, if you ever got questions, you ever want to talk, 
Never be afraid to drop it over here in that chat with us. Otherwise, Rob, you know you ever want to lurk, you lurk away. Know how it goes. Bro, Rob, thank you so much. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. The items, uh... We're saving this for teleport. We need a magic of staff for a pulse. But a voodoo's not bad. Castle in the sky. We'll do it like this. We will go with a voodoo staff already. We're still strong because we ac actually have two stars. We're good to go. We're good to go here. I still want to push Crow. Good morning, man. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, Crow. You play Water Spirit 3. You're looking to also have a Warp 3. If you go with the cave version hardcore, you don't have to have the Warp 3. But Warp 3 is a very good target so your Water Spirit doesn't get silenced. If you two-star Storm Shaman or Scryer, even with the three-star Water Spirit, normally those two will take it. I know that's a lot to ask. But still, it uh, they do normally help out a good bit here. All right, so 19. I say we go ahead and level here. I'm about to sell off the junk real fast, too. On this level, Soul Devourer goes in because we have no mana. So it's going to help supplement us a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. We'll get rid of the Yeet Rock, a.k.a. Stone Spirit. We'll get rid of Abbey Guard. The Skull Hunter is not priority here because for our four cave, Skull Hunter is not one of them. Axe and Sword are better until we get Storm Shaman because they give us Warrior Buff with our God of War. And the other one is Lava Shaman because we're going Shavids. That's how it's going to go. I was making sure. I, I, I'm trying to catch up with everybody. Thank you all again so much for everything already this morning. I cannot say that enough. I really appreciate it. Where are we at here? Let me let me go up a little ways. And uh, keep the queue again. Hola, mi hermano. Hola, and como esta? I think I've got it. I think I got it. That is our four divinity right chair. Uh, key here is this key. Key control what? So we got four divinity. So we have cooldown reduction. God of War gets it. Grand Herald, our Priestess, and our Water Spirit. But our Cave do not because they have their Racial Synergy active. It is Racial that matters for Divinity, not Class. So you can have Warrior active, but you can't have, like, Cave active. You can't have, um, uh, what, Ergursus, anything like that. But uh, Professions are just fine. Professions are just fine. We just need some mana now. Is all we're short. Luckily, the good news about Divinity is we have a priest so we mitigate damage even when we lose i have been summoned no key i said i said the word key and it made me think of you and that's why i was just saying it there uh mick hello mick how, how are you doing hello hello how are you doing thank you for the nice hair compliment how is your uh how is your morning going we're gonna egg woda because it's something we're gonna try to three star anyway so it doesn't hurt us to have the egg it gives us two star woda we frontline him now so that he takes a little more damage must have thousands of t-shirts. It all looks cool. I got a, I got a good, a decent bit of wrestling shirts. We got that Undisputed Era on right now, baby. Uh, Divinity Racist confirmed. Maybe she died. Maybe. Undisputed Era. Adam Cole, baby. What you know about, what you know about that, you know? What you know about the Undisputed Era? So we got uh, Elvo running some nights right now. It is four nights, double Agursus. As long as it's not six nights, I ain't probably... No mana, though? No problem. You, bay, Bay, Rob, you know, you know. Well, Adam Cole, the chugs over here on the, on the Twitch. What the rock is cooking? Thank you, Crow, for the 10 bits for if you smell what the rock is cooking. Mick, it is a, it's a little bit late there. We do have a, a, lot, of, a, a lot of our family are, are from uh, the Asia region. So I, I hope I'm not keeping you up today. I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you're having a good morning slash late night. NWO Wolfpack's coming, ladies and gentlemen. All you got to do is this, though. Uh, not even like that. Frontline your wizards against the wolves, against Ursas. The wizards are useless. Let them be cannon fodder. Boren Largan, good afternoon, Boren. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, Boren. So for the NWO... We really, 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 really want a mana crystal right now. We've got all the magic of staffs we could ever want. We've even got a sword for teleport dagger. We've just got no mana. And if we could slide faster with the four divinity cooldown reduction on this water spirit, we rock in and we rolling down the river, and there it is right there. We grab that magic of crystal, and since it's on the ground already, give me a stick. Is why does Garfit hate me such ways? Teleport dagger is the main mana item we want. Pulse Staff is secondary. 
We had a sword drop, so you just drop that right there on him. I actually haven't watched much of NXT. I know I should. I, I prefer... I haven't watched much NXT since AEW. I prefer AEW, Rob, over, uh, over everything else. But I still love Adam Cole. He is a national treasure. If you've ever watched him stream... If you ever watch him stream on Twitch, he is the nicest, most genuine guy, man. He is just an absolute sweetheart. We're pushing level here. We'll get rid of this Skull Hunter once I click off that, even though Econ's is all the way down. It gives us 4K with our teleport, with our voodoo staff. We're going to have a decent bit of damage here. We'll see what we're going to do with these other items here in just a minute. Oh, you're an AEW fan? I got, I got a lot of AEW stuff. AEW is my preferred flavor. NXT is okay. But it's, a, it's Adam Cole. Um, Gargano used to be, but he seems that like he feels a little bit stale. He feels a little bit stale, but uh, Adam Cole. Oof. I was thinking about BKB too, Garf, and I completely agree with you. Uh, doing good, and now I'll make coffee because you're drinking one. Made me want one too. Get some coffee for me, Bor, and let us all be addicts together. Coffee addicts. We're gonna take this magic staff. We're gonna take this hammer. BKB is is Python for magic resist and ability immunity, which we got a few beasts. I thought about going beast witcher again this game too, just because it's so free. But um, there are three beasts, so it's a good thing we didn't. We will be okay against them. Combine the hammer, the health crystal together, ability, immunity, health, magic resist. But a little bit more damage here, too, for that Woda slipping, for that Woda sliding. Auto chess is love and copy is life. Well put. Ronga, hello, 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 Havoc. So I'm stuck at Rook 6. Lose streaking so bad. Ronga, what kind of builds are you playing? What have you, what, uh, what have, what's been going on with the builds? What's been going on with the builds? You should check out the Druid, though. Yes, uh, wait, 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 what was, um... I feel like I missed something. Uh, Nanum, Nanum? Uh, how can you level up a chess piece? Oh, okay, okay, I was, I was saying, yo, thank you for always helping out, you know. Making sure, I'm sorry, I totally missed that. Because I'm still waking up, I apologize. It's no excuse, but still. <laughs> and friendship is ma- Friendship is magic. So yeah, what you know is saying is normally you need three pieces to make a two star. So you start off like a, you see, like I buy that, it's a one star unit, right? I need two more to make it a two star, like these are. See these stars down here? Two star, two star, two star, and two star. The two stars give it more health, normally give it more damage, make them stronger units. So you want to star everything you can up. If you, um... If you have druids though, Warpwood, Unicorn, Whisper Seer, Razor Claw, there's only four. Two druids makes it instead of needing three of those units to star it up, you only need two units. So if I have two unicorns and I buy this Whisper Seer, like this, if I see another unicorn, I can two star the two unicorns together without needing a third one. To so, um it the, that's the druids pass. But that is how you star them up. Once you have three of the units, you hit just a little star up. It'll come up and say, do you want to star this up? And you just hit star up. And it will star up for you. Gives them more health. Normally gives their abilities more damage as well. Just makes them stronger. Dragon Knight Agursus. Yes, uh, they they nerfed Dragon Knight Agursus, but it is still very strong. And it's a little bit underplayed now. But now you see in this game, we do have two knights. We've got three beast players. We've got two divinities, actually. Me and this one other divinity right here. Not in a bad spot. And then this person is going cave, glacial, and shamans on top. No problem. Nanum. No problem. Nanum. Am I saying your name right? Is it Nanum? Or should I say Nanum? Nanum? Like I said, any questions you have, let me know. Just Nano. Uh, Nanu. Okay, Nanu. Gotcha. Holy storm shamans. Batman, are you kidding me? What just happened? So this is this is a really good high roll for us. This is beautiful, beautiful farmer, beautiful. We'll sell Grand Herald off, even though he's only one starred. The good thing about Grand Herald is he steals another unit's ult. Okay, he the ult he steals is based on the star level of the unit he takes the ult from. So even if he's one starred, if I steal a two stars ult, the ult is two starred. That comes out. So we're selling him to get to that econ checkpoint here. And get that extra interest. We got Storm Shaman. A level 9 would not be bad. We could also replace Sword with Storm Shaman. And Ice Cream. Hello, Ice Cream. Hello, how are you doing? 8020. Good morning, 8020. How are you doing as well, 8020? 8020 got a new uh, YouTube intro uh, about done for you. About done for you, 8020. 
Looks way better. It's way nicer. How are you doing though, 8020 and Ice Cream Man? Good afternoon. How are you doing? I didn't want to interrupt your pyramid. Didn't want to interrupt it. So basically, when we hit nine, all we need is a defector, and we can go for shamans. Which, we got a win streak right there. I thought about pressing it down again econ-wise, but I think we'll wait two rounds, and then we'll go nine. On nine, since we have Storm Shaman, we can actually roll for three-star Woda now without having to worry about hitting ten. The Storm Shaman's a cave, so we can have three sh or the three shamans with wizard. It gives us four shaman buff while keeping our four cave buff because instead of Scryer, we have Storm. Ice Cream is in your lobby, 8020. Y'all be gentle on each other. Uh, Water Spirit. Was there, I was not paying attention, Laka. Thank you, by the way. That was my fault. I just was not paying attention. So here's the Druids. You see how it says Star Up? I only have two Unicorns. That was terrible. And I got Whisper Seer. You hit the Star Up. And now with only two Unicorns, I two-starred her. And now we just sell these right back off. We will go ahead actually now and level because I have all the Shamans I want to see. In goes the Defector. In goes the Storm Shaman. And just like that, that is... Four cave, four shaman, four divinity with water spirit. Full build, essentially. Full build. On round 22, without having to dig down, I still have 21 gold up here to roll with. We'll just econ right back up. Taboo Witcher is being a pain in the butt, but that's okay. Somehow Fallen Witcher hasn't killed one shaman back there. There we go. Now he is a werewolf, but it's too late. Can you explain the buffs in the right corner? I sure can. Nanu, I sure can. So these buffs, you know, you see how each piece has these little symbols. So uh, like this lava shaman right here, she is a cave clan and a shaman. Cave clan is her racial, and shaman is her class. That's what these symbols are over here. So I have a four shaman buff or four shaman synergy active right now. So at the start of battle, since I have four shamans, hexes a random enemy into a penguin for six seconds. And all shamans get a buff. Whenever one of these shamans are killed, it hexes an enemy into a random piece. So it's showing how much I have of each buff and how much is active. Like the four divinity right here, it's four of four. Shaman is four of four. These are maxed out. My cave buff is only four of six. So I'm getting the four buff instead of the completely maxed out six buff. I want to thank you so much for playing this build. I have watched you play it so much and learn. So many ins and outs of it yesterday. Got four wins. Can, nice job, Momentum. Anytime. Anything, I, like I always say, anything I can do to help Momentum, I'm glad you're having success. This is my this is my favorite build, or at least any variation of Divinity is my favorite. I love Divinity. I love Divinity, Momentum. Any, like I, I'm glad you're having success with it. I'm glad you picked up on it a lot. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's in a good spot still, especially Knights getting that little bit nerfed down. Even when Knights were out of hand with the Gurses, it was at least still a number two build in the lobby. So I keep doing it. It's it's worth it for sure. Beast is getting contested again. Knights are still contested. Just rock divinity on them when it's uncontested. I want to try all see your history. Thank you so so much, Crotex. Yeah, this is uh, this is like I said, uh, divinity. I, I used to I spam divinity a lot. We didn't play any divinity yesterday, which is why even without that mana early on, I forced this just to play some divinity. I just wanted to play some divinity. We're not getting any good hexes down. I'm literally just econing. On 26, we're going to roll down hard and try to hit some more Water Spirits. When the Water Spirits 3-star, we're definitely good to go. We luckily were fairly healthy coming into this, so we didn't have to push too much. Priestess. We don't want any more swords. We have all the cave we want to see. We want we have all the caves. The sword's useless to us now. These are the three cave. We have double wizard buff, and wizard reduces how much we need for our synergies by one if it's three or more synergy so we've only got physically three shamans but because of this double wizard it makes it give us four shaman buff we've only got three divinity because of four wizard or because of two wizards because it's four divinity buff and because of that we only want three cave it's storm shaman lava shaman and axe in my opinion axe just a little bit beefier front line gives you that taunt over sword if we didn't have cave and the sword had divinity bonus and cooldown reduction then i would say sword but because they're not having cooldown anyway that, see that's what i was saying hard chords uh red axe's taunt just being beefier is better because sword's not going to have cooldown reduction anyway and normally they're going to both die in about two seconds uh, honestly in the late game so it's it's really um it's really me just uh, him being tankier for us having that taunt a little bit be a little beefy make sure i'm not missing anything on this roll down 
We want Devastator for 10. Egg. And that one Water Spirit. We passed on that Water Spirit. I lost focus for two seconds. And we are going to roll down 30 gold and not hit any Wotas. Which is pretty bad. There he is. I knew if I did one more, it would come. Even though it was costly. So, we have only need 100 more Water Spirits for a 3-star. You know, a few more. We are against a little bit of Beast Witcher. Fallen Witcher got uh, hexed into a Grand Herald, though. So, we'll win this round. Is there a chance Skull Hunters may be better uh, for Pig Swarm? Momentum not in this variation. Skull Hunter does not get cooldown reduction. We're running 4 Cave throughout the game. We will always have 4 Cave buff. So there's no cooldown reduction on any of our caves. So it'll get one summon off, but that's really all you're going to get out of it. Red Axe works weird after the patch. When a unit dies after being taunted, it does nothing. Not even move. I did not know that, actually. Yeah, that, exactly exactly what Garfit's saying to you. Garfit reiterating it. Me, see, like I said, uh, Garfit's OG here. Garfit has also taught me a lot. So me and Garfit most of the time think alike. And Garfit has a beautiful mind. A beautiful mind. Russell Crowe. So we are against Cave Glacial. It will be Shaman. But right now it is just Cave and Glacial. Uh, Water Spirit's chilling. Slides on through one more time there. Our front line is trying to hold the line. Woda slides through one more time, getting a little low. Storm Shaman Silence does go off. And we will move right on through Cave Glacial Shaman, who's top health-wise in the lobby. So not terrible off. I'm going to probably just push 10 now, since we didn't see any Wodas besides this one going down 40 gold. We're going to probably go 10 and just get this Devastator in. At least have an extra body. What is the rank of this lobby? Um, Sam, Sam Don, this is Rook9, Sam. And Sam, hello, hello. How is your Sunday going? How, how is your weekend? Hello, Sam. Good question. Yeah, we are uh, 100 points, 98 points in Rook9 right now. Clawing our way through. Let's do it. Axe taunts, he dies. The taunted unit does nothing. I mean, until they fix it, you know, no reason not to have it on our team, right? Uh, this is the same build, but has a three-star water spirit and does not have four shamans yet. And as you can see, this water spirit immediately got hexed, sliding through. Back down, or Mamal, hello, hello, Mamal. Tad, hello, back down, hello. Good morning or good afternoon to y'all. How are you doing? And back down, thank you for that hydrate. This is the water spirit for the other divinity. And look at his health. I can't kill him. This guy ping oh, does he have a he, he has a scythe of ice? I was like, how do you ping with me? Scythe of ice. Hello, Tad again. Mamal, hello, and back down. How are y'all doing? It's only me not playing championship because lazy. If the championship's not too bad, Garfit. Uh, ESL is the real grind, man. You got to play so many games three days a week. Huh. Yesterday, they're like, for real. Because it happens, you know, I try to knock it out on Saturday. Devless, hello, Devless. Good morning. How are you doing, my friend? Hello, hello. So it's like basically we stopped the stream yesterday, the auto chess stream. I like 3.20 my time. Went in there, uh, got some food together. So by the time I get done with food, it's like 4, right? You know, with dishes and food and everything. So then I got from, I'm going to do Sekiro at 7. So I got to get 4 games in from 4 to 7. I got three of them done, and then it's like back into streaming for Sekiro for three and a half hours. Once I stop, uh, get everything like the green screen taken down. I got to do another game still, plus everything else outside of stream. If you run hunters, what kind of hunters do you use mostly? So the uh, the best hunters, in my opinion, for carry, Dwarf Sniper 3 starred is excellent. Um, Agursus Ranger and Umbra are ideal because then you have two Agursus at least. You know, if you're not going six Agursus, you still have the two Agursus buff. That are two hunters. Spider Queen is underrated as a frontliner and a tank. And Siren, Tsunami for Marine. And Siren, mostly Siren born. Siren is, her CC is excellent. Do not sleep on Siren. And Sam Don, give me some rosés for Sam Don. Sorry, Sam, I was trying to finish that up. Sam, welcome to the family officially. Just like you did, if you ever have questions, if you want to talk with us, or if you ever need anything, never be afraid. Drop it down here in the chat. Otherwise, Sam, you want to lurk. You lurk away, Sam. Thank you so much, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. B, you know, and ice cream. Thank y'all for the rosés. I'm going to spam me some more rosés here. I, that's, I feel unsatisfied with that amount of rosés. All right, we got ice armor. Fantastic. The other thing we got here, too, is... 
Ice armor. We have a pole staff, so we're going to go ahead and make our pole staff more damage. We'll level up now. The reason we're leveling, even though our econ goes down, we're getting closer to this water spirit. Devastator, Devastator, oh, wherefore art thou, Devastator, is going in. Is Divinity Marine any good? Not so much. Crotex. The best divinities is this version, Divinity Cave Shaman, or Divinity for Warlock with Warpwood. Divinity Argali Knight is still good, but it suffers against uh, silences and hexes. It gets shut down very easily, and now knights are fairly contested as well. Yeah, 6 Hunter, 6 Agurs is so good, early, so strong, and late. Uh, yeah, Garfit won the uh, a lobby yesterday with it, with us in there too, with a few of us in there. It was very good, and... That Siren, Garfin had the three-star Dwarf Sniper. Garfin knows. The Avenged Knight did not get hexed. This is Lightblade Knight, this three-star sword here. And look at this, against the Knight's Man, Ice Armor pops off. We don't kill him, but we do win that round. I am going to Econ one more round. On 33, I'm going to roll down again. But we're in a fairly good spot. All right, so we are going to go Flicker to reflect damage with that item right there. Nothing here is valuable to us. I'm going to drop it on Storm Shaman so he has a little bit more attack speed and maybe ults faster for those two items. Or actually, Hammer, it goes on our Devastator for more damage. The attack speed goes on Storm Shaman so he can build man up a little faster and get his ult off. Did Water just 1v5? Yes, Sam. That's why I love this. But that's a two-star Water. Wait until this sucker is three-starred. We got Hex, though. This is Cave Glacial Shaman. So six Cave. Four Glacial, four Shamans, hexed our Water Spirit into a Hell Knight. We're hexing back and forth right now. Zerker chopping away. So a little bit of an issue here for us with the hexing. Devastator Bomb goes off. We'll be okay. Somebody else went down there too. So now, here's what you do now, y'all. What happened is we got a second Teleport Dagger. We got a second Teleport Dagger. We need Water Spirits. Uh, we'll grab that for Econ. Just abuse it even though the game's almost over. Econ. Water spirits, please. Okay, so we can't we can't take dark spirit. Here's what we're gonna do though. We're running out of time. We go ahead and make a teleport dagger, and we just teleport this uh, storm shaman right at them and get that immediate silence going on. Can you show build nine mage and four wizards? Uh, Met gear, I sure can. I do play nine mages. I will try to get it online next game. It just depends on rolls. This guy is the reason why we're having problems finding Water Spirits. Because he already has one three-star. So we need him to die. We need him to die. You're gonna die, clown. Makes a couple items there. Oh, yeah. We sell you off for Econ. We sell you off for Econ as well. Here, once again, the good news is we stayed healthy early on. Fairly healthy. So we have the most health right now. So we have time to find what we're looking for. Our other friend died too, uh, the Cave Glacial Shaman. So we are going one-on-one -on -one with our our mirror match, basically. We're going one-on-one -on -one with our mirror match. We're going to move up here to the front line. We got some shamans back here. We have an Orb of Region now, which does need to go right here. And we will do it over the Monkey King. We'll drop Orb of Region. The reason this Orb of Region is important is this cooldown reduction right here. Stacks with Divinity's cooldown reduction. But we are, this is Cave, our Divinity Cave Shaman against Divinity Cave Shaman. Take DS if uh, DS two stars. Not a bad idea. It already passed, Garfit. It already passed. You know I can't cheat on my Woda. His Woda is not getting hexed uh, very quickly, though, is it? Lava's still alive. We got a nice little sword. Is this our Water Spirit Hex? It is, I think. Yeah, we don't have a sword. Look at this. This is Water Spirit Hex. This is Water Spirit Hex with the items. Uh, uh, someone also using the same build. It's hard to find the chest piece. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, uh, Nanu, yes, exactly. If they have the pieces, then it's out of the pool, so it is harder to find. You were right about that. So his water, his water, we need this thing hexed right away. It's teleporting in from this side. It's from that side. It's going to end up over here. We'll put this over here, and we'll put this one over here. Like so. And we need to figure out what we want to do with our Grand Herald. We want this. We want another Storm Shaman or Scryer. So that would be right here. Even though we're against Black Dragon King, we're still getting ready for it. We're getting ready for it. This is one-on-one -on -one for first. And ooh, buddy. You know your boy wants to win this game right now. 
It, like, I, like I said yesterday, would anyone run in the Divinity and Water Spirit? How dare you use my own uh, spell against me, Pata? For Snape. What we got here? Another Ice Armor actually is going to be the best. The Ice Armor so that our Devastator immediately pops off. And, uh, holy moly, hold on. I got a lot of gold to roll here, but we're going to deal with these items. We got time. And we go Infuse Mask now. Not on him, though. So... Uh, we need the python here. Alright, so we have our shamans in the corners trying to get at that water spirits. Good morning, Hard No. Hello, hello. Hard No, how is your Sunday starting off? How are you doing? Hello. So see how water spirit came right at our, our shaman this time and immediately got hexed. Immediately got Hex there. Storm Shaman is burning through mana right now. We've still got one more Shaman left alive. That's why he's not ulting as well. He got silenced there from the Storm Shaman. And now we'll drop it. We got health, though. A lot of gold to roll. We want a three-star Woda if we can. We want a Scryer, too, without a doubt. I would buy Doom, but we all know what happens if I put the Doom in, right? It's going to silence that God of War and nothing else. It's going to silence God of War and nothing else if I put this Doom in, y'all. It's going to do it. You know it's going to do it to me. It's all it ever does is silence God of War. Oh, let me stop this threat, Havix. I got it for you. Uh, God of War is incapacitated, sir. He won't hurt you anymore. Thanks, Doom. We should have got an Inscryer here, too, but it's okay. Was trying to get all we need is uh, two more waters or one more water and an egg. The three star woda is our problem still. It is a hell night right now. I'm not sold on that. I am sold on the scryer though, getting in here. Please give me some wodas and some eggs. We egg Deva here? I think we egg Deva here, right? Yeah. Scryer back here. We'll change Scryer and Lava Shaman's position so Scryer can burn mana. I just got a natural Doom 2 star round 15. Boron, that is a good game, man. That's a, a not a bad start at all. Water Spirit slipped through, did not get hexed there. Devastator Bomb going off in the middle. Uh, gets hexed into a Dark Spirit who now is on and popping for us. So our Grand Herald Sword is spinning to win. And it is down to a, a Lava Shaman who used to be a Dark Spirit here, baby. GG's. GG's. That's the first place. Let's go. Let's go. Two-star Deva. Get the hex down. Boom. Big bada boom. Key control. Big bada boom there. We'll start it off with a nice little first place. Oh, that felt good. I felt good. Thank y'all for the GG's. Nanu, B, Boren, back down, Garfit. We kept tweaking. We kept rolling. Uh, Crotex, you know. Thank y'all for the GG's.